Hello everyone. Hello, how are you? Happy Monday, the 11th of July 2022. I'm Owen Jennings. I'm coming in with a channeled energy forecast for this week, starting today and ending on Sunday the 17th of July. I do this every week so that you can um, be aware of what energies are around because we are all affected by um, universal energy and so that you can navigate whatever's going on and understand perhaps a bit more what's going on and showing up in your own life this week. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I channel my spirit guides who are called the Collective. I am also an intuitive coach, mentor and mentor as well as a healer. So, yes, I hope you're well. Certain parts of the UK are having a bit of a heat wave. So if you're in parts of the UK that are having that heat wave, keep hydrated, look after yourself, watch your energy levels. Um, I'm sure you're all doing that anyway. Uh, July is, as you know, a month of reflection, going within, releasing, deciding to release what we no, long, no longer want to take into the rest of the year. Um, being calm in the storm and just uh, aligning with our inner selves as much as possible so with our inner values as much as possible so one of the big things coming up this week is we have a super full moon on the 13th of July um, and you know all full moons are to do with releasing the past as you know um this one is quite fierce <laughs> in that if there are things you've been ignoring and haven't been releasing so perhaps issues that you don't really want to look at they're likely to come up for clearance <laughs> um but also it's a good time to set some positive uh intentions and positive tones for the rest of the certainly the rest of the month so and there's a lot of um so there's that going on <laughs> we all know what's going on in the uk with uh, politics um and various other things and we just really need to use our discernment right now really you know try and hold our line with the post i posted the other day and that's exactly what we need to be doing um, and so with a lot going on, it's really interesting when I was tuning in with my guides earlier that there's a lot of earth energy coming in this week. And I think that's because um, we need to be grounded. We need to be present. Um, we need to be able to move forward in the way that we wish to be made. Uh, we, we wish to do, sorry and not be distracted by all the noise that's going on around us as much as possible um so that's um a little bit of advice there for you and there's also this feeling of you know resting when we need to a lot of us are tired a lot of us have been through major upgrades in the last few months uh, and and we have done a lot of release work a lot of healing and you know we're a bit tired this month which is fine so it's okay to rest when you can. As I say, going within is, is, a, is a must. And, you know, it's okay to push less as well because what is meant for you is not going to pass you by. Okay? But let's bring in the specific energies for this week. Um, and they're very positive, um, very earthy, as I say, grounded, almost like you're setting yourself a new foundation for your future um, months ahead okay right hello everyone it's a pleasure to connect with you this week we hope you are well look after yourselves as always all right so Owen's told you a bit already about what's going on energetically the super full moon mm, making its presence known all full moons are about clearance, but because it's a super full moon, it's extra powerful. And this particular one, um, as Owen's already said, actually, 
if you haven't cleared oh no not really not, it's more if you if there are issues you've been ignoring so for example if you've been ignoring issues in your personal life maybe a relationship or something because you, you know perhaps it's been too hard to deal with or perhaps you just don't want to look at it it's likely it's going to come up to be looked at in the next few days so you might not be able to ignore it for much longer but it's okay because it's good to heal and release what you can all right might not be relationships it might be something else but that feels quite key for us this week as well as all that Owen's already mentioned we have a lot of lovely earth energy coming in this week and we believe we need it you need it sorry because there's a lot going on energetically in the universe right now. You've just had the 7-7 portal, the Sirius portal, and you're gearing up now to the Lion's Gate in August. So there's a lot going on energetically. There's also a lot going on in the real world, so to speak. Um, and it's really important more than ever as perhaps more and more divisions are being highlighted that you need to hold your line um, to really um, use your own discernment as to what you feel is true for you okay so we have some good news for some of you coming in this week in relation to financial matters things looking up a possibility of new ventures as well um, you mustn't allow fear to get in the way of you starting something new some of you um, some of you want more of a challenge, some of you are feeling a bit frustrated, so there may be some more study or going back to school involved sort of thing, or it may well be you just want to look into something in a bit more detail. But this is so that you're building your foundation, so we're really seeing this going on in your root chakra, your earth star chakra, and really embedding in what it is you want to take forward into the next few months. and obviously with the form and you're going to release what you want to let go we're also seeing money as an issue as often is the case for many of you um that again that we know we are aware there's a lot going on in the physical world at the moment um in relation to money and hard times but really look at your habits so what are you spending too much you're spending too little are you holding on to money um out of fear because money is there to be used obviously in a sensible way um but it doesn't want to be held on to it wants to do good so just have a look at your money story this week um maybe the books need balancing there's also the opportunity to make an investment in yourself or in perhaps this other area of study or research that you might want to go into. There's um, the need to get grounded as much as possible, to get out into nature if you can, but really grounding your energies and be the um, change you wish to see for yourself and for everybody else, really setting an example for everybody else. There are definite new possibilities coming in this week as well for you. So we already mentioned new ventures. It doesn't have to be anything big, but it could just be new, new possibilities. And again, not letting that fear get in the way because it's very important that you don't limit yourself at this time. Honestly, the, uh, the stars, the moon, they're your limit, even if that is a limit you can achieve anything with the energies that are going on right now but the most important thing is to first of all make sure your inner story your inner self is peaceful and that you have cleared what you need to clear that you have set your intentions for what you want, wish to bring in and so that you can have the best possible second half of the year all right some of you making really good business choices this week as well some of you really seeing rewards for the effort you have put in and perhaps even if the reward isn't as big for some of you as you would like there's definite indication that your work is being rewarded and you feel more like you're on the right path 
okay so lots of positivity here it is very grounded this week it is very keeping yourself in your own space and um, looking after yourself and what you need to do what you need to know and just watch for anything that's coming up this week that you've been ignoring that needs to be cleared all right that's very important thank you all right so i hope that's useful for you um interesting as ever <laughs> So, oh, and a reminder about Ashling Mooney's Angel Cafe, which started last week. It's ongoing this week. Some more wonderful speakers coming up this week. Um, each day, three speakers a day, and more again next week. So, if you haven't registered for that, registered for that yet, please do. It's free. Um, a wonderful thing for you to do, really. Um, right, and if you you know are needing any further clarity or guidance in your own life and you know where i am there's various ways in which i can help you either through a reading um a session with my guides or a healing session whatever you feel is needed so i wish you a wonderful week <laughs>